everyone this is Joanne how are you today I'm coming to you with a layout for Bramble Fox and if you saw my video on October 6th you will know that this is page two of a double page layout so this is page one and I have to admit that I did do some more work to this page after that video was published and not too much really um, I'll show you what I did. I added some more stenciling. I added in some bling, some pink fresh gems, and I punched little teeny teeny butterflies out of a punch and put honeybee stamp gem in the middle of it. And that's really it. I added a couple more little flowers up here, and I think that is the only thing I did. But I like it much better. Oh yeah, I added a puffy sticker here and a chipboard flare that says beauty because my great niece is so beautiful right here. And then I also put in some thread into the clusters. All right, but we will see all of that in the next one. So here's this one. And this is going to be page two, okay? Let me make sure, I don't think you'll be able to see both of them all full at the same time, but there's that. So I'm going to put this to the side because that's now complete. And now we have this, okay, two four by six photos. This is a five and a half by 12 piece of paper. I took a notebook border, border punch and just put it in all the way down, even though I covered up some of it with this photo. This right here is probably a five by eight piece of paper. Um, but you can make these be as big as small as you want and super simple. That's all I did. Then I also took the Distress Oxide in Victorian Velvet with a dauber and I distressed the edges of both of the pages. And we're also going to use that color through the new stencil from Bramble Fox. It is so cool. Look at this little diamonds in circles. It makes the coolest pattern. I love it so much. Very quickly becoming one of my favorite stencils. Okay, before we get started, this is going to be using the November Fox Box and some new fall autumn items in the shop, but I wanted to show them to you because they're so super cool. Great friends, everyday stories, and then there's little sentiment strips that says sweet life and my story. And it always comes in so many different colors. It matches so many different collections. There is a third sentiment strip and I'm going to use that on the layout today. Also in the Fox box is, um, it says little treat. Love that. Home comforts. How perfect is that for fall? If you're cooking or reading a book by the fire or something super cute. Cocos, tea, little honey pot. I love, love, love. I seriously think that the November Fox box was my favorite of the year. And then there's also new Halloween perspectives in the shop. Look at this amazing orange and black pumpkin sentiment strip stars. It says, eat, drink, be scary, hocus pocus, frightful, spooky, freaky, hubble bubble, happy haunting, I want candy, and chilling. Look how cool those colors are. So check out the Halloween items in the shop as well. These are just little frames that I cut apart from one of the pattern papers. Okay, I did adhere all this st stuff down already so you didn't have to watch me go through all of that, especially if you caught the first video. So I'm just going to be tucking paper in little pieces of this paper in underneath the photo for extra layers. Now I love that, I think it's super cute. You can use regular glue or glossy accents on your acrylic perspectives. Either one works totally fine. Put that there, I'm gonna hold it for a second so it doesn't slide around on me. Then here's the inside. So I'm just gonna go inside and put some glue. This glue dries clear, so I'm not worried about it. What this does come as one piece, but I broke it because I wasn't being careful. Oh, see, now it stuck right to my hand and popped out. All right, so I'm going to put it back in there, hold it for a second so it can dry, and then there's that. 
Okay, that's perfect. Yeah, I'm going to need some more foam squares there so I can lift that up a little bit. I will do that off camera. I'm thinking I should add some more red. And I love this collection. It's my favorite collection in the whole world. But I'm adding some red in to match my great nephew's shirt, which I think is perfect. That this collection came with red flowers. Okay, we put some glue there. All right. Oh wow, way too much glue. Just gonna wipe that with my finger. All right, so there is that. We're gonna put that over there. We're gonna put that over there. And then I think that I will go ahead and take my twine that I just wrapped up into a circle. Um, not twine, thread. Just go ahead and put that right in there. I'm not sure exactly where I want it, so yeah, that's good. I like it there. All right, and then I will go underneath and just put a little bit of glue in there so it stays, and it'll stay when I put the foam squares in too. All right, next I'm going to put in some little leaves to go with this. I'm going to slide that right in there, some glue. And then up here, I will put another one going up the photo just to extend the cluster a little bit, like so. I like that, that's cute. Okay, and then I gotta remember I wanna put some thread over there. And over here, I'm thinking, where do I want this? Yeah, that looks really cute. All right, so I am going to go ahead and put some glue on this. Tuck that in. Like that. Now I can come in and put some glue underneath these. Lift this up. Put some glue under there. Perfect. Now, I am thinking that this is a perfect spot for glue, extra glue. Don't need that. My um, epoxy flare from the paper snips. Yeah, that looks about good right there, I think. Yeah. Maybe I'll move it over just a little bit more so I can definitely read it and know that that is a book. Put some glue on the back of that. The paper snips are awesome. They are extremely easy to fussy cut. And they're so beautiful. And there's always new ones all the time. Okay, so there is that. Then, what do I want to do next? All right, let's make something over here. So, on my other... The other side of this double page layout, I made a cluster very similar to this. I used a piece of ephemera that looked almost exactly like that. So I'm going to mirror that, put this down right in the corner, and then put in this amazing uh, acorn that says the word autumn on it. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, I love that. Again, glossy accents or glue and I know some people use glue dots for the perspectives too. So you can also use that if you prefer. I'm gonna hold it for a second just to give it a second because I don't want it to slip and slide around. All right, then let's go ahead and do some things here because this is pretty open um, area for me to put some journaling cards. This is the third sentiment strip and it says blessed. It's my favorite one. Oh my gosh. I'm probably going to end up scrapping all of these photos again because I want one for my album of course and then I'm also going to want to give them one for their family album. So I'm thinking about putting these little frames right in here. Perfect spot right there. And yeah, that's good. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to hold that and I'm going to pray that I don't move it because that's exactly where I want it. 
high? Good. Oh, and I moved it. Only a little bit, though. I have to be more patient. I'm going to put some glue under here, too. All right, and this is where I'm going to come in with the sentiment strip. It says bless. It matches this collection. You could not get it to be more perfect, seriously. Put some glue in there. I'm going to use my tweezers just to make it sure I get straight. And I can use the little grid lines on this frame piece of paper that I cut out. And that's slipping and sliding. I'm going to not touch it. Okay, we're going to put something up here too. And that is another fussy cut frame. Just because I thought it would be super awesome to bring in some more red. I'm not sure exactly how much of that I want peeking out. So let's see. And then I want to put this floral here. Like that. Well, maybe over a little bit more. Like that. That's good. I am just so picky. It's ridiculous. All right. I'm going to go ahead and commit to that because I know I want to use that there. Put some glue in. And then before I get the other stuff stuck down too much, let me take this back out. I go in with some thread like that. Hopefully it sticks to my paper. And then I'm going to sneak this in and hold Hopefully I can do it. Let me get my tweezers back out. Oh, awesome. I was able to do it. Okay. Now I can hold that with my thumb there. Throw some glue under there. I'm going to turn my paper and then I'm going to come underneath and I'm going to dab some glue in there so it catches hold of the thread. Okay. So there, super simple, and adding thread makes a great texture. Okay, I'll put some foam squares on that too. Okay, in addition, I have a tab from the cardstock stickers just to put in something else up here, add a little color. There we go. I might want to find a sentiment to go along with that. I'm not sure. I have this. I don't know if and how I want to use this. Let me see if I can sneak it in here. That looks okay. I'm not totally in love with it. Maybe I can get it underneath this thread. Hey, I'm not unhappy about that placement. That's cute. Cool, I love it when I think of something and it works. I don't want that one, so I'm gonna put my nail over it. I do want these though. This is uh, the coolest stencil. I probably use this a lot. And let's get this little diamond here and these two diamonds here. Again, this is the stencil for November that is part of the Fox Box Plus. You can get a regular Fox Box subscription, but if you're really into the paper snips and a stent, a new stencil every month, you can sign up to receive the Fox Box Plus. And you know what? Honestly, I'm going to do exactly the same thing over here because that came out really cute. So let's see. Right there. Yep. Let's get a dab. And go in here again and then I'll probably put a couple more down but I wanted to show this to you so you can see how cool it is look at that that is so cool all done with the second page let me give you some close-ups again I just put little teeny pink fresh gems and I put those little teeny butterflies look at those little teeny butterflies I can't even with those they're so cute okay and then here's that there's two perspectives the autumn and the blessed I love that blessed it's my favorite and a little book paper snip because this was the first day of school and then over here, we have this leaf perspective, 
lose yourself epoxy flare from the paper snips i love that too so awesome okay and there's the bramble fox stencil that's a must have i'm definitely going to have to proclaim that as my second favorite bramble fox stencil ever and then here's this i did not do any more stenciling i put the gemstone and i put some gold splatters and the butterflies and that is really the only thing i did i think i added a couple puffy stickers right here and that's it all right so let's put them together they're gonna look really cute next to each other in the album i like it what do you think all right thank you so much for stopping to see me i hope you enjoyed this double page layout and if you didn't catch the video for this one it's on my channel and the bramble fox youtube channel okay so please like and subscribe to both channels leave me comment and if you have any questions about bramble fox please do not hesitate to contact me i'm always happy to help you i will link everything in the description box below okay have a wonderful day see you next time bye